Dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel PCM Academy. Today we will discuss about a little bit of part of Compton effect actually. We have discussed Compton effect earlier but uh, another topics, important topics you need to know about the Compton effect. That is relation between recoil angle and the scattering angle. Okay. And if you are new in this channel then please subscribe my channel Okay, because uh, more and more video will be coming. Uh, if you subscribe my channel you will get the notification. So I will always try to upload more and more videos. Okay, but your support is also necessary. So if you support more and more to my channel, then again and again I will be present new new topics for you. Okay, so please subscribe. Okay, and actually motivation also need to make video. Okay, so we will discuss about uh, relation between recoil angle and scattering angle. And if you see the playlist, there are a lot of topics I have completed already. I have completed a uh, lot of topics on, on mathematical physics, something like differential equation, vector calculus, Fourier series, okay, matrices. And now I am going, I am actually going to uh, cover the whole syllabus of quantum mechanics, okay. And in quantum mechanics, if you see, I have already discussed about photoelectric effect, and then I am discussing about this Compton effect. I will discuss then about pair production, pair annihilation, then I will discuss about the matter wave, then we will move to the quantum mechanics, mathematical tools, okay, and Schrodinger equation, all we will be discussing through this lecture series. And another lecture series also that, that is based on I think electrostatics, okay. So I will cover their whole electromagnetic theory, so video will be coming one by one and how much rapid the video will be coming <laughs> this will depend on your support so if you support more and more then i will be uh, motivated uh, to make more and more videos okay so we have discussed in a uh, compton effect earlier that if uh, there is an electron we have supposed that this electron is free electron and if a uh, wavelength of, of photon is incident on this electron and they will collide each other so photon will the incident photon of wavelength lambda if this is if this collide with this electron then the electron will be required at some angle around this direction suppose with linear momentum p at an angle theta with the horizontal and the photon will be scattered at an angle suppose this is phi okay and the wavelength of this scattered photon is lambda dash so we have already discussed about the compton wavelength shift that is lambda dash minus lambda that is equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi. We have already discussed this. Today I want to establish the relation between phi and theta. Okay. Simply we can establish the relation by using the momentum conservation. So if you see the moment of conservation along x axis along this horizontal line or you can take this as x axis then along x axis. So what is the initial momentum is h upon lambda initial momentum is h upon lambda okay of photon and after uh, collision the momentum of electron is p along this direction so its component along x axis will be p cos theta so this will obviously be equal to p cos theta plus a part of this momentum carried by this photon of wavelength lambda dash so it will be h upon lambda dash the momentum of this scattered photon so we can write from here what will be our p cos theta so p cos theta will be h upon lambda minus h upon lambda dash let me take this as equation 1 we will use this okay now if you want to take the linear conservation along this y direction then a component of electron momentum of electron along this direction is p sin theta and so along this direction the component of this is p sin theta and along this direction it upon it is h upon lambda dash sin phi so the, these are equal because along y direction initial momentum is 0. So if initial momentum is 0 then sum of this two will also be 0 but they are in the opposite direction. So obviously p sin theta will be equal to p sin theta will be equal to h upon lambda dash sin phi okay. So this is our equation 2. Now if you divide this two equation equation 1 divided by equation 2 and if you use this equation lambda dash. So by combining these three equations, we can establish the relation between theta and phi. So let me do it, this little bit of calculation. So if you divide this 1 and 2, we will get cos theta upon sin theta 
that will be obviously cot theta cot theta will be equal to if you divide this by this so it will be just h upon lambda minus h upon lambda dash i think here is a mistake because along this direction it will be h upon lambda dash cos phi okay so along this direction it will be h upon lambda dash cos phi because the component of this along x direction will be there will be another cos phi okay so it will be so please correct it so it will be h upon lambda dash cos phi cos phi will be there also okay so it will be h upon lambda dash cos phi divided by h upon lambda sin phi h upon lambda sin phi okay now if you simplify it you will get just if you take common h and h will be cancel out so it will be lambda dash minus lambda cos phi so it will be lambda dash minus lambda cos phi divided by divided by it will be and lambda lambda will be cancel out so it will be lambda dash sin phi so it will be lambda dash sin phi okay so if you calculate this h h will be cancel out and here lambda dash minus lambda cos phi and here lcm will be lambda lambda dash here is sin phi and lambda this lambda and here lambda will be cancel out okay and lambda dash will be there so lambda dash sin phi now we have to substitute we have to substitute here this lambda dash this will be okay this is another mistake also this will also be lambda dash okay sorry this will be lambda dash okay so it will be lambda it will be lambda okay so lambda sin phi now you have to substitute this lambda so if you substitute lambda lambda will be lambda plus h upon m not c into 1 minus cos phi okay and this h upon m not c sometimes written as lambda c that is compton wavelength so if you write it as lambda c now you have to substitute here so cot theta will be just instead of lambda dash we can write lambda plus lambda c into 1 minus cos phi into 1 minus cos phi okay minus lambda cos phi minus lambda cos phi divided by lambda sin phi divided by lambda sin phi now if you if you see here so if you take common lambda so that will be 1 minus cos phi and here will also be 1 minus cos phi so that will be lambda plus lambda c into 1 minus cos phi so if you see if you take common 1 minus cos phi then it will be just lambda plus lambda c into 1 minus cos phi into 1 minus cos phi divided by lambda sin phi divided by lambda sin phi okay now let me further calculate this thing so what will be your lambda plus lambda dash lambda c divided by lambda okay we will substitute later on lambda c is h upon m not c now if you write from here so cot theta will be cot theta will be just lambda plus lambda c upon lambda that will be 1 plus lambda c divided by lambda into you can see 1 minus cos phi divided by sin phi so 1 minus cos phi will be 2 sin square phi by 2 2 sin square phi by 2 divided by sin phi will be 2 sin phi by 2 cos phi by 2 cos phi by 2 so you can see this 2 2 will be cancelled out 1 sin phi will be there so sin phi by 2 cos phi by 2 will be tan phi by 2 okay so it will be just 1 plus lambda c by lambda into tan phi by 2 tan phi by 2 this is cot theta now if you further simplify this lambda c upon lambda then what will be this so we have lambda c is equal to we already have lambda c is equal to h upon m not c now if you want to write down lambda c upon lambda so it will be just h upon m not c into lambda okay now you can see if you want to express this in terms of new frequency new then you know c is equal to new lambda so in in place of lambda we can write as c by new so if you write here c by new so it will be c square and new will be there so this lambda c upon lambda is nothing but h new upon m not c square <coughs> so we can substitute here so we can substitute here that cot theta will be cot theta will be just 1 plus h new upon m not c square 
into tan phi by 2 into tan phi by 2 so this is your relation between theta and phi this theta and phi so this is actually the relation between the recoil angle theta and the scattering angle phi so you can remember this result in numericals problems this result sometimes will very useful okay so in the next class we will discuss about the pair production and pair annihilation also okay so then we will move to matter wave okay thank you